So new factories, well, not new factories, factories altogether have been announced. Um, and there was a flurry of people setting up factories, people that weren't even in any of the beta business for the decor. They just started throwing factories up and on the spark exchanges, they were throwing factories up. People are building factories like it's going out of style. And like people, it's so you can't, you can't reason with these people either. Like I saw somebody put a factory at, in a property that was like maybe twice as big as the factory. So the, the functional space would have been maybe the size, the, the same footprint as the factory. And we're like, Hey, you know, looking to rent some spark for this or whatever. And I'm like, holy cow like no no do not waste your money on this like there's so many reasons that you should not be doing this like this is not the correct place for a factory like you are going to pay way too much spark for this that you're not going to have utility for anytime soon you're way better off buying a residential unit and waiting to have a bigger lot for your thing like and then you would think that you were like telling them that like their god didn't exist like that's how personal people take it they're like oh, you you're just trying to monopolize it you're building a factory aren't you see you just don't want other people to have factories and i'm like whoa calm down i've been in the beta program for almost two years now like yeah i am building a factory i'm building one factory in one location i'm not building a hundred i'm building one because that's what's needed for the beta program like calm down there susan and yeah, while you're building a factory in Manhattan, when you have cheaper properties, you have bigger area outside of Manhattan, I, I don't get it. No, I mean, I think you'll need, I mean, if you have a large plot of land in, in Manhattan, I wouldn't, I mean, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be opposed to having a factory in Manhattan because then it's easier, you know, for storage and, and actually building save you on the shipping but yeah i would tend to agree it's probably going to function much like real life where again your larger plots of land um are going to be outside the city so but i mean i i do something you know maybe the bronx where you have less than a hundred percent you know you have under mint properties going on something like that you know one of the one of the cheaper surrounding surrounding boroughs you can still it's not that far to transport it in on a semi once they come into the games or anything like that no now, I mean, it's pretty much like real life right like there's no there's no manufacturing plants in the middle of manhattan for a reason yeah yeah and uh, I, I was just surprised you know as you were saying yes. the, the amount of uh the amount of people building factories on such small properties but what I've also seen is I had to change my offers on properties because all of a sudden I got flooded with a bunch of offers for large up square properties. And that was something we used to talk about all the time. And we always stressed was, you know, there was always the race of who had the largest amount of property in the game. And it was for a reason. This is the reasons we're talking about. Um, and yeah, did you get a lot of offers for your larger up square properties or did you already have your markup set high enough uh, that you weren't getting low ball offers? Yeah, my my markup's significant on those, so. Yeah. <laughs> yes, makes sense. I mean, that answers viable. the question. You were like, yeah, so anyway. Yeah, now, people that, now what about the people how much spark should you have before you even think of building a factory? I, I don't know. I, I think 15 to 20 would be the number that I would be like, if I was going to be in manufacturing, I'd want probably at least 20 spark. I reckon. Yeah. So if you have one, two or three sparks, should you be building a factory? No. In my, my personal opinion? No, no. I think that's a terrible waste of, of resources. And oh, 10 spark, I like cake says 10 spark minimum. 10 spark would be the absolute minimum. And it depends. Like maybe if you're running just like a small factory um, or like a small distribution plant. Cause here's the other thing, people. Um, and they did, they, I feel bad because there's going to be a lot of disappointed people once they realize like you can run a manufacturing plant out of a home 
Like you actually do not need a factory to build. Um, and, and I don't know that this has been very public, but like it's just more efficient to build in a factory. But if you have just a little home on a plot of land, you'll technically be able to build and produce out of that home. It'll just have a lot more restrictions, just like, you know, running a business out of your home versus a factory is. So I think that there's going to be a lot of disappointed people when they realize that, that they could have been just investing in building homes um, on their properties that would actually add value in a lot of different ways, as opposed to this very specific building. Um, I actually think it's a mistake to have it open to the general public um, because I think it is going to set the wrong expectation and they have it. So that's just my opinion though. Yeah. And, and you can look at it from one side of, well, why do only the beta business people get the factory? And it's because, Hey, they're the beta business people. They're doing the, uh, they're doing the decor. They want a manufacturing plant, you know, to help them do that because I, I think you're going to have a lot of factories across the upland metaverse that are going to be sitting idle and then you're going to have people trying to sell it so it could be a good opportunity to pick up a factory at a discount cost you cheaper than what it would have cost you in spark or spark hours to rent sooner or later because people are going to realize that they don't have enough spark they're not going to spend the 450 to 600 or 700 dollars to get a full spark every month you know or get multiple spark a month if it's available it's Manufacturing is not going to be for everybody. Um, and it's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive to start up. It's going to be expensive to maintain um, and be competitive because you also have to either a source your designer to create your um, create your product to certain specs that will be approved to manufacture. And then you got to have the spark to manufacture it at a constant rate. And then you have to be able to transport it and your vehicles take spark to transport and you have to have your showroom. Up That's and unconfirmed. Running. So they're, they're, Is that true? Which thing's unconfirmed? Spark to run your cars? Is that true? Yeah, that's true. You just made that up. Okay. No, I didn't. We've had this discussion before about this. You think cars are going to cost spark to run? I guess. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. But yeah, I mean, the reality yeah. is the factories, the factories are more efficient, you know, creation areas, but they're not residential where re residential can technically be commercial just at a lower speed um, from from what's been shared with us. So, again, I obviously it's not nothing's launched, so it could change. But the reality is like. That's yeah, I just feel bad for people that, yeah yeah it, oh yeah no it's gonna be a tremendous amount of work like if you like even just look at the block explorer secondhand shops and the nflpa like that's a ton of work and they're not manufacturing like getting the designers it's like wrangling cats and like they're very specific requirements like three levels of detail so like if you look at like the cars how they have like the four and eight k range down to the little micro machine next to the building next to the one that's in the actual uh unity app like you have to have all those for all your items you have to go through a whole vetting process like it's a lot of work and then you're gonna have to manufacture transport yeah, like too stupid said yeah should i demolish my factory and build another apartment yes almost certainly Yeah, so factory owners, so that's interesting. So this is for Dizzy saying factory owners may also wish to leverage their existing factories to trade with other uplanders who are eager to start production immediately rather than wait for a factory to be built. Yeah. And, and I don't know if that fundamentally from... changes because especially if you're building it on a tiny ass lot, like... I mean, you could build 10 factories despite me. I, I just don't like, I, maybe there is a market then for that. But like, if you're building it on a lot that is less than say a thousand up square, like you're probably doing it wrong. Like, I'm just gonna throw that out there. I think like that would be my minimum 
to build a factory would be a thousand up square. Yeah. So. yeah. And you also don't have, I should have did the spark. Um, I should have did an update on spark, but since it was spark week, I thought it would be pointless to do an update on spark and wait till after the spark week. But NFT Artifact is you an don't, amazing artist, by the way. Shout out to NFT Artifact. Architect. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think right now you don't have enough players with the emo- appropriate amount of spark for all the factories that are going to be made. No, no. I think, you know, eh, 80% of the factories that are being made right now should not be being made. Like, that's just full stop. Like, we're going to be in beta. The beta is going to last for, like, weeks. And so, like, you probably want to figure out the mechanics of it all first, see how it works. The first, like, even the uh, the beta testers were told they will only be able to use one designated factory during the beta test. So even if we build multiple, we'll only have one functioning um, factory during uh, the beta test. So... Um, oh, so apparently spark to run cars is correct. Okay, good. Um, yeah, th- thing is groups like UCC will have spark army, right? Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I wouldn't be building a bunch of factories right now. Because but. I would like to see, you know, as a, as ability to increase your manufacturing by having people stake their spark in your factory to help manufacture and you give them a call you give them price like they're your workers them staking spark is like working in your factory that would be nice so you could have larger resources of spark to help manufacture yeah i think that'll come um i i think that they'll need to do something like that to make it a even more even playing ground um yeah. but yeah but initially, right now, it, it's the, the, the people that are going to be using it are the beta decor shops. And we'll, we'll see how that all rolls out. And there's going to be plenty of other opportunities. You know, semis are going to come. You're going to want to get semis. You want to get the cargo vans. You, you can do, there's going to be so many different styles of businesses going on, you know, in Upland that's just not manufacturing, you know. And some people might, just want to run showrooms and you can buy stuff from different manufacturers there's so many possibilities out there you know it, it's just not focused you don't have to be the the streamline end all be all everything to it you know i think that's a really good call out right of like there's going to be multiple opportunities to create value and earn yourself you know potential revenue streams right you do not. I, I think that's probably and honestly, I, I need to tell myself that <laughs> like you don't have to own the process start to finish. Like you don't have to be the artist and the manufacturer and the retailer and the marketer. Right. You can get a team. You're going to need a team of people to do it right. You're going to need a team of artists that are dedicated, that understand the protocols, that have the submission process down. Um, so that way your prints get approved. You're going to want a player who has a lot of access to spark or funds for manufacturing. Um, so that way you have that smooth or then you're going to want a high profile uh, meta venture um, or, you know, marketing campaign to make sure that the word of your product gets out. So, I mean, it's going to take a team to the, the most successful of these will definitely be requiring a team. Yes. Yeah. And you got to have good organizational skills, good communication skills, because if you want to run that empire, you, you're going to have to be working with each other and uh, helping develop these relationships to get it done to be a top producer. Uh, so how big? I, I would say uh, a thousand is my thing. What do you think? What's your what's your minimum number that you'd go to factory at? <laughs> I mean, it's a small factory, so I don't know how large they're going to do large factories. And you don't have properties that are greater than 10,000 up square. Um, well, so I, I don't could, think if they released anything higher than 4,000. That's in like non landmark. Is, is 4,000 sure. on the fresh mint? 5,000? Okay. 5, I, I think 000. I got a couple over 4,000. Oh, yeah, I don't know if there's any 5,000. Okay. 
So now this yeah. this is an interesting comment from Jimmy James. I think you tried to put up. I overread it. Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> you think clicked off of it. A, yeah, I know. I uh, I think that the, this is an interesting point from Jimmy James on it's a way for Upland to sell off big properties that are not minted. Um, I, I honestly that to me that's the conspiracy theory side. Like if you if you want to put on your tinfoil hat, like sure, oh this is a conspiracy to sell off bigger properties now. Um, it, it was literally to support the decor shop, which is coming, you know, the beta is, is launching. I think that there was probably extra code to limit it to only be able to be built by, you know, the six people that are in the beta and they're like, eh, we'll just open it up, let people build it, whatever. Um, but I, I don't think it was like a cognizant, like, well, we should release this with little to no information. So people buy massive uh, properties. Uh, to build these manufacturing plants on because the people who are already thinking about this have large properties <laughs> like right like and, and here's here's a little insight so beta business has been going on for about a year and a half right now ish yeah about a year and a half for the probably more than that, shops but... it, it yeah. was like january 2021 um and I, I can't remember when and we've had meetings from time to time with a lot of radio silence in between as they work things out and trying to figure stuff out but one one of the closer meetings, I think it was earlier this year, they talked about, hey, you'll manufacture in your house, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, should we have factories and should the factories have, um, you know, give you some sort of bonus or some manufacturing bonus instead of doing it in your house? You know, you got the mom and pop shop doing building something in the house, but then you get a small factory and now your production speeds up or the cost of spark speeds up. And that was something the team took and, and worked on and, and fed back. And that's how the factories came back was feedback from the beta deck or business. Uh, one of the meetings that was presented out there. Uh, and a lot of us, as Thank Me Later said, have big properties, even early on, that was always, uh, there There was a handful of uplanders searching for the biggest properties to mint. And uh, when they're released, you know, there were some released and everybody raced for them. Um, so it, it's, that's how we got to properties and you're going to have the bigger properties are usually going to be people that already have spare OPEX available because as we see the markets right now, both the stock market, the crypto market, and then just overall inflation in a lot of countries, a lot of people don't have the extra cash to just start fiating in and buying these larger properties. So if these larger properties are bought, usually it might be with your uh, property earnings from people that are generating a good sum each and every month. Yeah. And I mean, I think, We'll see as uh, factories and stuff. I mean, I think that that's going to be new players coming into if they want to be in manufacturing. We're going to see that continue, right? Mm 